Hi, and welcome to a quick demo on how to load tape into your Opulo feeder. To start off, you can take a spool of components. I have an eight millimeter feeder here, and this spool has eight millimeter tape with 0603 components in it. I'm gonna start off by just mounting it into the spool holder here and it pops into place, so it, it's sturdy and it's not gonna go anywhere. So to prep the tape, I'm just gonna peel back a little bit of the film on the end so that it's really easy for me to lead it back where it needs to go in the peel motor. And I'm only gonna peel off a little bit of it, like just a few components worth, just so it's easy to grab. And then I'm gonna feed it into the hole in the back of the feeder that accepts the tape. So there are two buttons and one RGB LED on the feeder. On boot, if you press and hold the forward button, the one higher up, it will drive the tape forward. And if you hold the one beneath, it will drive the tape backwards. And all this does is just moves the tape forward with the drive motor. If I press and hold both buttons and I wait until the light turns blue for a minute, then I've switched modes into driving the peel mechanism. So now I can press and hold forward and it will peel the film. And same thing with the other direction. So these modes are really helpful for just loading the tape and manually incrementing things forward and backward uh, if you need to for mainly just for loading tape in. That's really what it's useful for. At any point during the feeder's operation, you can just tap the higher up button and that will just move the tape forward four millimeters. It does a whole sequence, a whole dance in order to get the film to peel and then drive the tape forward correctly. If the indexing movement fails, so it doesn't get to its final position, is really mainly what will cause this, the light will turn red until the next successful movement operation. But in 99.9% .9 of circumstances, it will just move forward as expected. So now that I've loaded my tape in with a little bit of the film peeled up, and I'm just gonna drive the tape forward a little bit. I'm gonna apply a little pressure on the tape in so that it grabs in on the indexing wheel. And now I have it loaded. It's uh, the indexing wheel has grabbed the tape. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab the film and I'm gonna pull as the tape is driven forward so that I have enough film to reach around back to the peel motors. And it's gonna look like this. There we go. So now I have a bit of the film ready and you can see the tape has driven down around the front. Now I'm gonna take the film and I'm gonna wrap it around the side of the feeder into this slot and I'm gonna prepare to feed it in between these two golden gears on the back side. And now I can press the forward button to manually pinch the film. Tweezers are really helpful for this step to guide the film in between the gears. And it's important as the film comes out between these two gears, you make sure it doesn't get all caught up in the worm gear. You wanna really make sure you're guiding it out in between the two straight gears and nice down and away from the peel gear because otherwise it can get caught in between them. So just make sure right as it's coming through, you're guiding it away properly. So now we have the tape loaded in and the film, it has a nice good amount of tension on it. So now I should be able to just press the forward button and it will peel a little bit of film and then drive the tape forward. And there we go. So now that you have this loaded in, it's very easy to just remove your feeder and you have the spool all loaded in. And if you wanna load it back, it's very easy to just hook it around the front, drop it back in and keep on feeding parts forward.